Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos and I'm going to show you how to set up your Pinterest account for business. Now if you've seen my previous videos, we've learned about setting up uh, Twitter, Google Plus, and Facebook. Now we're going to talk about setting up Pinterest. So Pinterest is this great uh, social network that is a very visual, very visual social network. It focuses on graphics a lot and it has a very strong demographic of a female users. So if your target demographic for your website or your product or your brand or whatever it is uh, focuses on uh, a female audience, Pinterest might be the, the best one for you. So let's see about setting this up. Uh, I've gone here to Pinterest.com, Pinterest.com, and right away at the beginning we might have a little ad that tells you what's the point of Pinterest. They've tried to um, personalize it a bit more uh, that is explain what's in it for you, not just another social network. And here, this one says, she used Pinterest to roll her first pasta. Join Pinterest to find and save all the things that inspire you. So think about this for your business. What if you are a bakery, Victor's Bakery, for example, and I want to entice people to come to my shop to buy my wares? Well, uh, it's a proven fact that food really helps sell uh, really, uh, pictures of food really helps to sell your food, and that's what Pinterest is all about, pictures. So that's why I, I want to set up an account. Now, at the beginning here, we've got a very easy way to sign up, add your email, create a password, etc., or with Facebook. I don't recommend you do any of these methods here because this is going to be for creating a personal Pinterest account. So if you saw uh, my video on... Um, Google Plus, in there I talked about uh, you need to create a personal account and then create a business account from there. Same thing with Facebook. You need a personal account and then you can create business accounts. Uh, Pinterest is similar to that, except that you don't need a personal account to create a business account. You can create one right away. What you have to do, though, is go down to the bottom, Pinterest.com. You're going to see, if you scroll down... You're going to see a spot that is for businesses. Let's see, Pinterest. There it is. I don't, I don't know why I couldn't find it, but um, there we go, for businesses. So I'm going to click on that, and it takes you over to... Pinterest, or that is business.pinterest.com. This is where you want to go. Get discovered by millions of people looking for the things to plan, buy, and do. Join as a business. And there's also the option, already have an account? Convert now. So it's a common thing to create an account on Pinterest because everyone tells you you should, and you create it as your business, but you actually created a personal account and a personal account is limited in that you can't track analytics for example which is the data that tells you are your efforts working or not so on this screen business.pinterest.com i want to select join as business and then there's various things to fill out we've seen this before Pretty self-explanatory. All of this stuff can be changed. So business type. Uh, I'm going to do Victor's Bakery. So if I've got a physical location, I would select local business. But the issue with that, as we've seen in other videos, is that if you have a physical location, you need to provide the physical address or phone number for your, uh, your claim to the business to be verified. So I'm going to select a brand contact name, email address, and password, and then profile info. That's shown publicly. So over here, who's going to manage this account? What email address? And then a password. Make it a good one. Business name, Victor's Bakery. Username. You're going to have your own address on Pinterest, so I want Victor's Bakery. No spaces. About. Same that you've been writing in the other platforms, pretty much, which is uh, San Diego's 
premier um, family owned bakery website all right and then you have to accept the terms if you're curious about reading them they've got the business terms here and the privacy policy so I'll select create account oops my username's already taken this might happen to you this is why you want to get in on a social network before someone takes your name okay well I'm gonna have to settle for Victor's underscore bakery all right that worked I'm gonna be Victor's underscore bakery now what we see here just like we've seen in the other networks is uh, what are your interests pick whatever catches your eye you can always fine-tune things later this is the social in social media you want to connect with other Pinterest accounts so that you can share content and your content can be shared you can always change it later so let's see what fits with mine food recipes, desserts, healthy snacks, clean eating, gluten-free, paleo, nutrition. Ah, that's pretty good here. I have uh, seven. So I'm going to select to follow those. It's going to remind you to confirm your email address, so you'll want to do that definitely. And at this point, I've created my account, and I'm ready to start using Pinterest. There's a lot to do to set up our account still, so come back on our next video, and we'll do that.